Hi, this is Caleb Scharf with Simutech Group. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to collect ANSYS diagnostic logs from both the client and the licensed server. So to start, we have these instructions listed on our website. Go ahead and go to simutechgroup.com, go to support, and then click on ANSYS diagnostic logs. So here are written instructions on how to go through this, and I'll walk through these here in a moment. Um, the first one we're going to do is the client diagnostic logs. And what you need to be aware of with this is that this needs to be performed from the computer that the client software has installed where you're experiencing the problem. So to start, we're we'll click on the start menu here, and we're going to type in client. And that should bring up the client Ancelic admin utility, and we're going to right click it and say run as administrator. If you don't say run as administrator, we won't get the full logs collected. From here, we're going to click View Status, Diagnostic Options, and then say Gather Client Diagnostic Information. We'll say Yes, and we'll say Yes. And here, we're going to go ahead and create a new directory where our log files will be stored in. I'm just going to go ahead and create it in the root C drive. It's easy to locate, and we'll just call it ANSYS Logs. Create new directory, click OK. And from here, the logs will be gathered. This can take up to a couple minutes, depending on how many logs there is and what your system performance is. Um, but generally, it doesn't take too much longer than that. But I'll go ahead and skip ahead in the video to the logs complete. OK, so the logs have completed. And we're going to go ahead and open up File Explorer. And we're going to browse to that folder we created. ANSYS logs, and here you'll see all the log files that were collected. The next step is to go to the main folder and right click it and say send to compressed zip folder. And Windows may prompt you to place this file on the desktop and that is perfectly okay. So we'll say yes. It zipped up the folder. You can see that it's right here. And now from here, this is what you're going to want to send to, your, to our support team um, for further uh, kind of review. All right, we'll close out of these windows here. And we'll go ahead and go back to our website. And now we're going to walk through the license server diagnostic logs. Now remember, these steps must be performed from the computer that the license manager is installed on. So if your IT department is the one who controls that computer, you're going to need to have them run these steps. But it's pretty simple. Let's dive in. We're going to go ahead and go to Start, and we're going to type in ANSYS, and the ANSYS License Management Center should come up. Again, we're going to right-click and say Run as Administrator. And this time it's going to bring up a web page. On this web page, there's a section called Diagnostics, and then Gather Diagnostic Information is what we're going to click. Then we're going to click Save to File up here at the top right. And then we'll go ahead and wait for these diagnostic logs to complete. Again, these logs can take anywhere from one to two to three minutes, uh, depending on system performance and the number of logs that need to be collected. But I'll go ahead and jump ahead in the video here, and we'll continue from there. Okay, so our logs have been successfully gathered and downloaded to this zip file here. So we'll go ahead and open this folder. And because it saved it in a zip file, there's nothing further you need to do. Um, and at this point, you can send this file to our support team where we'll look into it further. We hope this video was helpful, and we thank you for choosing Simutech Group.